Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're gonna get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about map editor and we are going to install this mod for you guys so guys don't forget okay to download all the requirements in some of the description before you download this mod so i have been getting a lot of messages by people saying that the f still does not work or the the, the mod crash, crashes their game or it doesn't open the menu so guys i want you guys to listen very carefully because this is the seventh video I have done for map editor so I do not want to keep repeating myself so make sure you guys do listen very carefully and watch the video okay don't skip the video guys because if you do then there might be a little bits of pieces that you guys might miss out okay so make sure you guys watch the whole thing before you guys um, start anything okay so all you guys gotta do okay step number one is download and install all the requirements inside my description so go and check that out and even inside my downloads too and once you guys finish with that then download map editor i will leave this link inside my description below once you guys have completed all that all you guys gotta do is next go to grand theft auto v game right click and open file location once you guys complete that, as you guys can see, that I am installing it inside a new folder. So this is a new, fresh, clean folder. And before we do install it inside the new, fresh, clean folder, we have to go to Open IV. So guys, all you gotta do is go to Grab the Auto Windows. And now this will take a few seconds, okay? It, it all depends on your PC performance. Once it opens, guys, go to Tools. Go to ASI Manager and then now install ASI Loader and then open IV.ASI and then select Yes. Then install Open Camera, then close the folder. And that's all you guys gotta do. And now just close it, guys. Now, next thing we gotta do, guys, is we're going to install all the requirements. So make sure you guys got the latest version of all the requirements, okay? So the first thing we are going to install is the most important mod is Scriptog V. Go into your Scriptog V extract folder, go to your bin folder, select the input 8.dll and Scriptog V.dll and drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now all you guys gotta do is replace the file and then that's all. The next thing we gotta do is go to your Scriptog V.net extract file and then now select scriptogv.net.asi and even .dll and even .xml drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory now we are going to install the trainer v's make sure you guys, you guys got the latest versions so open up your trainer v extract file then now select trainer v.asi and trainer v.ini and drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now we are going to open up menu extract file. Open up that file guys and then now select menu and stuff folder and menu.asi. Drag them both inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys we have done that okay. All you guys gotta do next is go to your GTA V main directory, right click refresh the folder then right click again and then now uh, all you guys gotta do is create a new folder and name that folder scripts press enter once and then press enter again and then now uh, open up the map editor guys and then now uh, copy everything inside the map editor extract folder and then now uh, drag everything inside your scripts folder and now guys quit out of there guys um, and then now guys the next thing we are going to do is make sure you download the native ui.dll 1.7 version 
I will leave that in some of the description guys okay so guys make sure you download it from my description okay don't download it from anywhere else okay because some people say that they downloaded the native UI.dil from someone's website and it didn't work okay but when they tried my one it did work okay so make sure you guys download the one that is inside my description so um old version so guys all you guys all you guys gotta do is make sure that you got the native ui.dll 1.7 if you guys don't know if it is 1.7 all you gotta do is right click go to properties and then go to details and it will say over here file version 1.7 okay click on native ui.dll and then drag it into your scratch folder and then now uh, an application will pop up and just push replace now there you go guys and then now guys uh, the next thing we are going to do this is optional you can do it if you want to but it's totally up to you click on map reveal and open interiors and drag all three files inside the extract folder inside your GTA V main directory now guys go to your GTA V folder refresh so guys we have basically finished with everything in case so quit out of there and then quit out of your GTA V main directory right click and refresh your desktop and we're gonna go and jump into the game and now guys welcome back we are here with Franklin so all we're going to do guys is to see if the F7 works so guys here we go in five four three two one F7 right there see guys it does work okay um so you guys saw me installing it inside a new clean folder and the f7 does work okay so guys if you guys did follow my tutorial and you guys got a fix then congratulations but if there is an error or or if it doesn't work then guys the only solution that i can say is to delete that folder okay and now create a new folder okay or just create a new folder guys okay and then now install map editor inside a new folder and then now slowly add your mods from your old folder into your new folder okay just only slowly add your mods into the new folder and then now find out which mod is affecting map editor to work okay so you guys know so make sure you guys check to see which mod is affecting map editor to, to work and then now delete down okay guys so guys it does work okay and you guys got to know how to install it properly okay and make sure you guys the and make sure you guys install the native ui.dll from my description okay guys so with that i'll see you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to if you guys did like this video smash that like button and if you guys are new here subscribe for more daily gaming content and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching guys Peace and I'm out.